Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Tupa Player Negative AE, and today we are back um, with Dog and Ropa, exactly where we left off. All right, so I'm talking. To okay, let's talk to you. What do you have to say? I see. I Apparently, see. a great man once said, "Investigation should not be done on." Yes. So that's why I'm also using my. Feet. I'm just walking around. There's no reason, and there's no meaning. Hey. Hajime, I just realized something. Could she be, uh, by any chance, know what happened during the blackout? I was just thinking the same thing. Are you serious? Huh? How'd you know? <laughs> so you did hear us. Even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly right now. <laughs> Not only do I have a perf uh, perfect face, style, and personality, but I, I also have perfect ears. I see. If you're hearing us so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout? Hey. Uh, when the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? <laughs> Just leave it to Ibu uh, Ibuki. It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Huh? <laughs> la la. I hardly eat it for breakfast. I see. Oh, so you mean it'll be like easy as pie, except uh, <laughs> eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. <laughs> So wrong. She would make a metaphor content. Okay, I don't care. Anyway, could you tell us? Yeah, you freaking get to the point. Leave it to me. I'm gonna take a bite out of you. Yep. What? If you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. Stop it. What if she takes you seriously? Aww. Let's see. The person who raised their voice during the blackout, or the first person to raise their voice during the blackout was. That's right. It was Ma uh, Mahiru. It's a blackout! Okay. Next was Kazuichi's voice. And the next voice was mine. Hey, I can't see anything. Kazuichi was there. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! Yeah, what a nice remark I made. It's to the point... <laughs> it's to the point and has its own... Thank you. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. Yeah, I, I remember that. Don't step on my feet! Don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on here? What the hell is this? This is... Ow! Nagito... Ko, ko, Nagito... Konina. Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Okay. I remember all of that. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me. Praise me. Give me lots of praise. We did the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagato, say something to her. Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Bayakia said during the blackout. What, did, what Bayakia said? Hey. Why did he say something like that? Because he was getting murdered? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? Th this is... What do you mean? Hmm. About that. Why don't we discuss it after you've investigated a little bit more? I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. Yep. Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account right now is just, uh, just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yahoo! Then praise me. Let me bite you. Ouch. Why are you really biting me? It's like every freaking emo girl, or like, <laughs> in freaking high school, I swear to good lord. Obtain truth for it. Ibuki's account have been added to the truth wallet section of your handbook. Cool, thank you, Ibuka, uh, Ibuki. You were actually super helpful. Um, Sonia. Hey, what's going on? Do you have anything to say? Uh, There's something I wanted to ask you. What is it? Um, it is strange, no? It appears that this wall is a different color and material. Why is that? Perhaps. Probably a fire door. A fire door? You've never seen one before? It's a door uh, that shuts to keep fire from spreading uh, by containing it. If that happens, you can just run away, right? See, it's just like a barrier, uh, lining up plastic bottles around the house. Uh, that's only done to keep the cats from getting in. Uh, you don't know about 
keep you know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about the fire doors? I am ashamed. Truly, I am culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. Okay. Fire door has been added to the truth, but I don't actually know how I'm gonna use that in an argument. But I'm glad I have it. Why are you over there? Aren't you with me? Okay. This toilet is still locked. It's locked. Someone appears to be inside. Because it's a unisex bathroom. I don't know who's truly in there. Hey! We knocked on the door, tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but dots. There's no response. This is going nowhere. Guess we should give up for now and check on it later. Yeah, you're right. That is weird. That should really be a truth bullet, right? Like, someone's in there. Someone's... Outside. I don't want to go outside. Not yet. I'm going to the office. And the reason I'm going to the office is because there's a circuit breaker in the office. Hajime. This old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker might be related to the backup. But it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. I'll check it out. This must be the old building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. I see. It doesn't look like someone or someone did anything to it. And nothing like else is the circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a step ladder, you won't reach it. Hmm. I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad that I forgot about that, but you're right. Even with a stepladder, there's no way that you'd be able to reach the circuit breaker. Which means someone ha must, uh, must have reset the breaker after the blackout, but who? I did it. Whoa. God, it's here. Okay. You idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. By the way... By the, and, ah, uh, by the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, um... Firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reached the circuit breaker, my body stretches. You know, I'm very elastic. I won't be fooled! L liar. It's true. I'm serious, you want to see? Why would you... So He's a freaking mechanical freaking thing. We see a, a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque. No thanks, just imagining it makes me want to pee. Oh really? Such a shame. So cool! Still, don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he can take first- Why are you talking about yourself in the third person? I see. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker. Well in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the, ki uh, the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't trip it, or set it to be tripped... Okay. So, my problem here is she has a stick. So let's talk to her. She could easily reach that breaker. I can already tell you doubt me, correct? I do. Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Biaki was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker is in this office. Naturally, I would look suspicious, uh, since I was supposed to be here. Wait. Yes. Supposed. Uh, supposed to be here. What does that mean? I see. So I was right. You weren't in the office. But why? I agree. Why weren't you in the office? You weren't, so, uh, weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the drilling case with all the weapons in it? So where'd you run off to on your own? Well, that is... Ugh. Ugh. Pekka suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. Hey, what happened? No, I'm just not feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me, what was that? Hey. Uh, Pekka, it appears the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so I recommend the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? Uh, it seems like it'll be a tough path. Okay. So she was sick. What happened to her? It's kind of hard for me to say myself. I already feel bad enough for Pekko as it is. What does that mean? I mean, is it cool? She didn't like run away or something. Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Is that really what it is? 
Um, okay. So I think she's sick. I, th I, I believe her. I believe they put suspicion on her. The timer for the end is also set to that time. It can't be a coincidence, right? Okay. So the AC has the same timer. Both sides. Okay, what is the Darwin? Let's investigate the Darwin case. Should clean all the dangerous and Hey. Maybe we should check inside just to be safe. But it's locked. Yep. Yaki had the key to this particular dome and push with him. Check it out. I brought it with me, so there's no need to worry. Is it okay to take that key? But now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside this case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. This guy doesn't feel any remorse. See? Okay. Kitchen, uh, forks, kitchen knives, uh, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. But it's not possible the killer took anything from here, because the key to this case was inside the case that Biakia had with him. I guess you're right about that. But, if you think about it... Maybe... Hey, isn't Pekka the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere, even though she was supposed to be in the office. Uh, when we were looking for Byakuya after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but when I got here, she was gone. Well... I shouldn't say this too loudly or Miss Sonya will yell at me. Hmm. But Pekko's probably one, the one that sipped the, tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Bianchi. Hey. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too, like an assassin, right? It's not like you look any better. She also wasn't in the room until afterward. Now then, I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going now. Uh, I think they're putting too much suspicion on her. Like, to the point where they're, like, trying to, to, like, push me in that direction. But I also think that she's just sick. So I guess I should go, I could go outside. I'll go in the kitchen eventually. Can I go in the storage room? The storage room is really dusty and dark. Wow. My hands were full cleaning the dining hall, so I didn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for a long time. This laundry hamper has clothing in it. Randomly shoved in here. Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth. Yeah, that wasn't there before. A blood stain. Huh? Yeah, a blood stain? Uh, come here. Uh, come here. Let me take a closer look. It's too dark. I can't really see that clearly. No, there's no mistaking it. This is clearly a blood stain, which means the tablecloth is connected to Biakia's murder, right? Oh. If that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a blood stain. Um, storage room bin is under the street section of your notebook. Okay. I don't think sack boxes have anything to do with it. Guess we should leave them yep. alone. Wise decision. Can we just? Where if I go? The surveillance cameras. Whoever's controlling Mana Kuma must be monitoring the cameras too. Pissing me off to think I'm being watched. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, okay. Oh, so there's more stuff to look at. Tablecloths. Looks like they haven't been used yet. I guess there's nothing strange here. Irons. Are these irons? They look like they were recently turned on. But why were three irons... Why are there three irons on this iron board? Just as I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. Uh, when I was looking for Byaki after the blackout, I found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off. But doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Sinister? Huh. Hajime. How much longer are you going to stand? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and us, uh, investigate the other... I get it, you're right. Okay, so that's my cue to leave. So they're giving me all the information. They give me all the information to, to do stuff. Let's talk to you real quick. 
How come Byakia was able to say something like that in the darkness? What the hell? What's going on here? This this is it makes me wonder. Okay, let's uh, investigate the kitchen because it's the only place we haven't been yet. Uh, besides outside, we should probably go outside. Talk to Tedder. Hey, were you in the kitchen in the during the blackout, Tedder? Uh. <laughs> the blackout totally startled me. At first, I thought it was just in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. And then I heard everybody's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. But then that place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, that's impossible. The gas needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. I see. Then, it's, then I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use it as a light source or something, but I guess it's not that easy. Alright, so we got Tedaru's account. Uh, we also have equipment list. Oh yeah, this is the list that um, freaking had missing items, right? Well, just from reading through the list, it looks like the knife was next to Byakia's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears that it might have been brought from outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Byakia's body check? That's weird. Strange. He didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat-downs. That's the case, he probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Hey. Still, it's surprising. It's you. It's you. It's either you or the mechanic. Because the mechanic was out of the room. Pecco's sick. The gamer girl was outside. But all this stuff doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it really doesn't matter. I agree. Kitchen equipment list has been added to the truth book. Thank you. Um, okay, so, I can't leave, there's still things I need to investigate. Okay, there's more stuff, thank you for letting me know. Japanese of big trip from bone too. Isn't it amazing that meat is so big, even I was shocked. Yeah. Yes, a dish fit for it. a tropical island, and I'll never be able to get meat like this in Am Amoya or Azabu. Uh, I'd never be able to get meat in my hometown, much less in Amoya. I get it, you don't have to repeat yourself, but it's so big, where did you get it? I asked Nekamaru. Apparently he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. His bare hands? <laughs> a little bit hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. Mm -hmm. Seriously, Nekamaru's so wild. He totally, he's totally right at home in the country setting. I'm so jealous. Uh, so wild country and things like that, they slip my mind a lot, you know? Well, I guess this meat has gone to waste since the awfulness just happened that the party started. The only ones who ate any food were Akane and Pekka, who took some portions for herself. Eh? Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them. Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but if there really is a killer out there, I'll probably never be able to forgive that killer. He's scary when he's mad. Party juice has been added to the truth bullet. I guess we're pretty much finished. Nagato, let's get going. You're right. Yeah, sure, let's get... get okay. Yes. I want to go outside. I think this is the last place I haven't been. Yep. Okay. Yep. There might be clues there, too. It might be good to check out. Uh, but I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Uh, well, I don't really mind going there together, but... Aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be hey. that danger? You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? I see. As I thought. You sure are strong. And you definitely are the chosen one, chosen by Hope Seek right. Academy. Uh, let's get going. To Byakia's cottage. Yeah, I don't know why, but every time I talk, I don't know how I'm supposed to react. The moment I left the there was a uh, strange scene unfolding before me. Hey, what are you doing? They're searching for the freaking eerie. What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish Gosh question. darn it, it is. Um, 
We're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Dude, are you an idiot? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. So I thought it was important to check it. I agree. And you have a really cute cat costume. Or cat hoodie. Uh, under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet alley didn't reach the table where he found Byakia's body, right? And the dining floor or the dining hall floor had huge gaps in between the floorboards. And is it possible the killer killed Byakia by stabbing him from beneath the floor? Yep. That's what I thought. So I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well, mm. this is not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak uh, under the floor from here. But... Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. You think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole in the bathroom, maybe? Wow. No, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, it seems like you can't get any of it from that. That's relief. Relief? Why? Mm -hmm. Because if you could get under the floor from outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party and doesn't have an alibi. Oh, that's right. Fuyiko. So... I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it was possible to get under the floor from outside. Well... But speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuhiko came here. Huh? He did? Huh? What happened, Fuhiko? Huh? Oh, hey, uh, what are you doing here, all alone at a place like this? Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. Huh. How diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party. What are you saying? Oh no, not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. They make me want to puke. Thoughts. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course you. not. I was just going for a damn walk. Okay. So my, my original suspicion was that Fuhiko was in the bathroom uh, pre-party. And he snuck in there, and that's why he didn't show up. But now that he's here outside... Uh, what do you... That's why... <laughs> do, you, do I have to report every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... <laughs> then leave me alone. Mm. And then he just left. So that happened, but why did he come here? Thoughts. See? He probably wants to be a part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's what he's always that's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. Hey, he's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? When do we start talking about video games? Alright. Chikaki's account has been added to the truth wallet section of here. Even though we don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but you, I've, we have no idea who the killer is. Uh, well, I guess for now, we should stick to the plan and head over to Byakia's cottage. As long as the possibility is greater than zero, that will suffice. Not unleashed even half of my power yet. I will uh, clearly reclaim the hellhound during my own two hands. There's no intention of investigating. Okay. Uh, at that, we're going to end the episode. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Uh, hope you guys are having a good rest of your day, and peace out, guys.